What's up guys, Card Protagonist here and welcome back to another episode of How to Upgrade. I actually came up with a really really awesome budget deck. It is really cheap and it's really powerful. I actually tested this deck myself. There's so many great cards from the new set that help boost this deck. So first up, the buddy we play is Baobuts the Lightning. The very new buddy rare from the duo chest. It looks amazing and it is a very, very awesome skill, especially against certain matchups. Um, let me go through its skill. It has a core cost of 1. Um, one gauge and putting one thunder emperor fang sorry one thunder empire cards from the field into a into the soul so one thing to note is you can actually place cards like um black sand castle because black sand castle is a thunder em empire and you can just put it in the soul it doesn't state that he has to be a monster so cards like black sand castle actually helps us that a lot you could also place weapons which let's say you draw multiple copies of weapons you can all right the weapons equipped already i can just send this into but so and give Bats that Soul Guard and his core cost. And one of his most interesting abilities it is his overturn ability. It deals so much damage, especially against decks that play a lot of set. Example, Black Dragons and many other decks right now because sets, sets are really powerful in this game. So overturn, pay one gauge and one life at the beginning of your battle phase. Destroy all cards on your opponent's field. So basically, monsters, items, and spells on the field, or even impact sets, are destroyed in this ability. And for each card destroyed by this card effect, you can deal one damage to your opponent. So let's say you're playing a black dragon, they set five cards, and maybe three monsters, they take a total of eight damage alone with this overturn ability. So this is really, really good because it helps drive your opponent down to a low life so they can finish them with your impact, which I really, really like. I really enjoy this combo. So this card is really good. And of course, you also have one additional crit when you are 4 life, four life or less, which is also very nice. So, Barbara's Lightning is definitely a must play in this deck, especially in the budget version. Since it's given, it gives you 5 copies in the X Duo chest, it is a must play in the deck. And it just looks so awesome. It's just your buddy monster. And the Benny Secret Flag is. This one's not a Secret Flag, but it's the X Duo chest flag. It has the uh, Mirage card in the back, so it is the Thunder Empire Mirage card with Gal Mikado. Very nice. Alright, so 4 copies of the the Bawas Lightning, 4 copies of the OG Chordak Bats. Now, Chordak Bats is still an amazing card. Now, right now, with 2 combined Chordaks, you have 1 powerful Bats deck which gives you 8 Bats, which is like the perfect number for the number of Bats in your Bat in a Thunder Empire deck. So, uh, card costs 1 gauge. During your turn, this card can be destroyed. So, basically, your opponent won't be able to dest destroy with Death Grip. All those removal cards will not affect your Bats card. So Bats alone is an amazing card. And how uh, the Lightning affects um, counter this is they get Soul Guard so they won't be affected by removal that easily. But this guy just can't straight off can't be destroyed. So it is a very very powerful card especially combined with Chibi Panda which allows you to do one additional damage when whenever Big Brother Bats attacks. So you'll be able to shoot multiple attacks since you'll be resending a few times. So he has triple attack basically with his overturn. So yeah, his overturn is pay on gauge then during your attack phase. And you can resend a Thunder Empire few on the field and this card. So basically you can attack two times, then you can pay one gauge and resend an itself and another Thunder Empire, which gives you two additional attacks. A very very powerful card, especially for a Chordak card. Alright, next we play uh, one of my favorite budget cards in Buddy Fight is I'm not eager. Or yeah, I'm not eager is so good in the deck. I I can't believe I didn't explain this in my how to upgrade because this is definitely one of the must plays if you are new to the game. It is only an uncommon card, but yet it has such an amazing ability. Uh, when an item with a few attacks, choose and choose and use one of the abilities. So it has a dual ability. Either for this turn, this card gives double attack. Size one, two crit double attack for no cost is so good. And of course, Thunder Empire usually have weapons, so it's get pretty much guaranteed. So this guy is basically a size one double attacker. Oh, second ability, put a soul from a monster on your opponent's field into the drop zone so you can actually fight against the ancient world. You have big monsters, you can always use the ability to remove their soul, which is considered an attack if you guys think about it. So it is a very amazing card, you guys should check it out. A very cool looking Thunder Empire unit. This card is from XBT03, it's a danger world card, so you guys should check out the Overturn Thunder Empire booster pack if you guys are looking for this. It is a U Uncommon. Next, we have uh, four copies. I say you never leave home without Connect Ninja Tomo, Shin, Tomo no Shin because he is so good. He uses so much advantage if you're playing Thunder Empire. If I could play 10, I would play 10. All right, he is a very powerful card because whenever another monster enters a field, so let's say, for example, you have this on your right, you call Bats to your left, you can look at the top three cards of the deck and add one Thunder Empire to your hand. 
So it's very good because it helps you uh, speed through the deck for all the for cards you may need. And it's just it's, it's a once per turn effect. So it stays on the field and next turn if your opponent doesn't destroy it, you can just do it again. Get more advantage. This guy is basically an advantage engine. And you can get him from XBU03, Overton Hunter Empire Booster Pack. It's a rare card, so it is not very expensive, expensive as well. But I think he is a must play in this deck because he's just so good in Thunder Empire. Next is two copies of the Dungeon Bowl, uh, Thunder Warrior Ochre Glazer. The reason why we u I use a lot of different worlds is because I want to play the impact, which for each different world in the drop zone, you can do damage. So I want to try to utilize the cards that we have in the trial deck. And this card is actually really good. When this card enters the field, you can charge one gauge. So free gauge for your impact or your parts. And if you have two or more different worlds on the card name, this card gets penetrate. Um, basically, as long as you have, um, as long as you score him and you have another card on the field, it just has a penetrate. So it is a very nice card. Yeah, because two or more different worlds. There's two different worlds if you have two different cards. So you guys get the picture. So two copies of Awkward Glazer because it comes with a trial deck. Um, for you guys that didn't know, this is this deck is consists of uh, one. Thunder Alliance Trial Deck and one Duo Chest and a bunch of commons and rares from the from the XBT booster box. So you guys can definitely make this deck. It's very, very easy. I actually recommend this deck to some of my uh, younger players who are new to the Buddy Fight game and they actually had really good results with this deck. So I, I'm, I'm glad they um, was able to help them. So next up, Thunder Emperor Chum, Saint Holy Sword. So Chibi Panda is another form. I realize Chibi Panda has uh, many, many forms which is great because he's an adorable character. If you have a monster with butts in this card name, on a few you can reduce the size by one. So it's a size of a monster if you song have butts. When a monster with butts on this name attacks, you can deal one damage to your opponent. So basically, um, as previously mentioned, if you combo it with the Trodek original Trodek butts, you will be able to do additional three burn damage, which is very good because you will bring them down to uh, five life points, which you can finish them off with their impact. So two copies. I'll definitely play four if I have more. But this for now is a budget deck. We play two because it's given in the X Duo chest. Another form of Chibi Panda. This is adorable as well. It's basically a size zero monster which allows you to attack and boomerang dragon back to your hand. And if you have a butt on the a size two on the field, it becomes a size zero. So size zero comes to the center. Do the Gal advanced Gal formation attack center. You bounce back so that weapon will be able to attack. So it is a very very good card. I really like him. Uh, two copies of Takosuke also from the X Duo chest. Another awesome weapon that uh, Thunder Empire finally got. So when this card attacks, you may pay on gauge. You can if you do declare a card on your opponent's declare a card type. So basically, if you think your opponent will have a spell on the hand, um, declare spell. If you do look at your opponent's hand and he has a spell, you can gain one crit and it gains double attack. And most importantly, it is a right. So your opponent will have to beat through the defense even before dealing damage to you. So it's a very, very nice card. Yeah, I really like him because he allows you to spy your opponent's hand, giving you the information you need to to win the game. It's because um, hand surveillance is very important in every card game. Alright, for spells, we play two copies of uh, the Fighter's Oath. The Fighter's Oath, I really, 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 really like this card because uh, unfortunately, I only have two. Um... Fortunately, this card is equally as good, almost as good, but this one is just amazing because if you build the deck right, like how I'm building it, you will easily pull off the three, gain three life, three, gain three gauge, which is huge advantage. So ability is put a number of cards on the top of the deck, charge gauge equals to the number of different worlds on the field. So most of the time it's going to be three different cards because I play a lot of, I play a perfect balance or mix of different worlds. So you will be able to fully utilize this card's ability. So charge 3 gauge and for each gauge charge gain life. So basically charge 3 gauge gain 3 life. Really really great card. Alright. Um, offerings to the Thunder Empire. And it's an equally good card. It's a, it's a very good card from XPD03 common. Fortunately it's a common so definitely pick it up. Because it helps you with all the gauge problem. Unfortunately Thunder Emperor Fangs only start with 1 gauge. But with this card it is pretty much easy to overcome because you instantly charge 3 gauge or gain 3 life depending on your situation. If you guys if you guys think you're gonna die the next turn, gain a 3 life to survive prolong your life which is great. So yeah, it's a very very good card. It's get charge gauge or uh, gain life and if you charge, if you think you can finish the, um, the game this turn with the impact, charge the gauge. Alright, for some negates we play 4 copies of 
Black Sand Castle, uh, one of my favorite cards in the deck because it prevents your cards from being bounced back by stuff like Magic World and Magical Goodbye. And also, odd, um, it also serves as a negate because counter. During your opponent's turn, if you have two or more different worlds on a few, you may send this card to drop zone. So basically, counter, send the drop zone. The deck's damage you take will be reduced by three. So let's say your opponent will be to were to attack you with a three crit monster, you can just okay from the field, I just send it to drop zone, and I don't take any damage because it reduced by three. All right. The one good thing also about this card is, with the Barbar's Lightning, you will be able to absorb it to the soul to become to form Barbar's Lightning because it is Thunder Empire on the field. So Barbar's Lightning doesn't specify whether you need a monster or a card or an item. So any cards can on the field can be sucked into the soul to become to become food for Barbar's Lightning. All right. Next is two copies of Bring It On. Bring It On is an amazing uh, negate. Because just for the fact that you do not need to have an equip equipment equipped and you can counter and knife out the attack. So it's a pretty good card. So it's basically a green dragon shield. So I play two copies. Also another reason why I play very um a variety of negates is because I want a few different drop zone for different worlds so that I can trigger the different world ability for the impact. Because the impact is reliant on having many different world cards. And you guys can see there's a lot of different worlds in this in my lineup. And two copies of Urn. Urn is just basically a Solomon shield. Oh, it's not Solomon shield, it's just it's a shield. So knife fire attack, great. Two copies of Thunder X Goodbye. Thunder X Goodbye is an amazing card. Personally, I really, really like this card. Uh, it's from the X Duo chest. You may pay one gauge and return a monster back to you from your field to the hand. So basically, you can return that butts they were, they were trying to kill and bounce back another card, bounce back a card on your opponent's field. So it's great because most of the time when I put butts on the field, it's gonna get killed. So I could use Thunder X Goodbye, bounce back one of the monsters to prevent the next attack from happening and protect my butts, which is really good. Really like this card. Um, two copies of the uh, Demon Slay Bind, Aura Bind. A very good card, especially against double attackers. The rest ability is really, really precious in this format because there are so many rush, rush decks. Resting the card on your opponent's field makes them unable to do a double attack because they won't be able to even unleash the first attack to trigger double attack. This is why cards like these, resting cards, is really useful in this format since double attack and triple attack is a thing. Right, well weapons we play Thunder Pike by Draw Demon Slay. Uh, for I mentioned this is from XBT01, so X sorry XBT03 is a common card so you guys should pick it up. It's one very very defensive card and it's dual world so it counts as a two world in the drop zone. Next up, Thunder Pike, uh, Demon Slay, another very very good card for Troll Deck. Basically, this card is one of the best Troll Deck cards that we've ever received. A double attack card for one gauge, and it's a different world. It's an amazing card for a Troll Deck card. So basically, with double attack, you can uh, push for more damage, which is great. Two copies. Two copies of Ikazuchi. Ikazuchi is another awesome card, especially if you're fighting against center-based decks. For example, if your opponent calls monster to the center, you can always give your Bahobat's D pattern trait, so you'll be able to hit through. So, when this card attacks, you can give one of your Thunder Empire on the field plus one crit. Uh, sorry, plus one penetrate. So, basically, you'll be able to penetrate center-based decks. Two copies of Thunder Emperor Sword, Draglare. I, I like this sword because it gives crit to you can give crit your double attackers, like Baobats, and Baobats will be swinging for 3 crit each. Um, yeah, and it's, it's equi equip cost is free. So sometimes if you really want to call Baobats and you already have another weapon, you could just, uh, from the few who are already equipped, you can just send it back to, send it to Baobats. So pay cost, and then equip another weapon, maybe a double attack weapon. So yeah, uh, sometimes having a free cost as an equip cost is really good for Baobats. So yeah, uh, time to go for impacts. Impacts are really, really interesting because the new impact basically makes you utilize on the different world mechanics. So you may only cast this card if your opponent has 5 life or less, so it's basically like an X-Tempest Buster. Cast cost, pay 3 gauge, deal damage to your opponent equals to the number of different world card names on your drop zone, in your drop zone. So potentially you can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 7, 8, 9. You potentially can do 9 damage with this impact. But of course, most of the time, um, it's easy to do the 5 damage. I, I'm testing out this impact and I really like it so far. 
Most importantly, you can also cast this even if your opponent has a monster on the field center. So sometimes you penetrate through and their monsters somehow don't die or they survive or they use some counter to call the center before final phase. You can cast this and they still die because it doesn't have the requirement to have an open center. Uh, two copies of these because these are from the first trial deck. The, um, this may not be the better, may not be so good, but it's in pack, so I'm just gonna give it a try. You may only cast the card if you have two or more Thunder Empire on the field, really easy. Cast cost pay to gauge, destroy all monsters in opponent's field, and deal two damage to your opponents. Um, it is okay because sometimes you really need the two damage to push for game, but uh, having you to destroy all monsters on your opponent's field is really good because it gives you the control you need. Especially you can you can just cast this early game because it's only two gauge and you can control your opponent's board and deal damage to them at the same time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the budget deck profile on the Thunder Empire deck. I really hope this will help you guys get into the game. I have some great news for you guys because this Friday on 8 December, I will be working as a shop assistant at Royal Serangoon. So if you guys haven't checked out that card shop, be sure to leave, I'll leave a link in the description box down below or the comments on how you can how you guys can go to Royal and support me. So you guys. Uh, who are interested in getting the X Duo Chest, it will be out this Friday at a special price if you come and find me personally because I will help you get an awesome price. And of course, I will be there to help you upgrade your decks. So this time, make your chance to come down to on to Royal this on Friday because I will be there to help you upgrade your decks. So yeah, I will, I will be giving my tips and how you can improve the game and all the accessories you want to be a competitive player. And of course, for you guys who are new in the game and just got the X Duo Chest, bring your fans down because I will like at least teach you guys how to play and yeah, it will be a fun and awesome day on Friday because the X2 chest is finally out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the how to upgrade on the Thunder Empire deck. Be sure to add me on Facebook and subscribe to my channel. Peace out and love you guys. Rawr.